15 Best Animal Friendships in the World. Number 15. Dog and Raccoon. Raccoons are usually associated with unpleasant, noisy, rabid beasts that consume garbage. But what they don't realize is that like their canine companions, raccoons can be incredibly friendly and playful when they're young. Does that mean dogs and raccoons can be friends? Raccoons can also attack if the dogs enters the raccoon's area, especially if the raccoon is protecting its young. You could be out walking your dog in the woods when your dog is suddenly attacked by a raccoon. Raccoons rarely attack without a good reason though. In this first clip, it's all about love and affection between these two. The dog is a pup, and the raccoon is playing tug of war with it, and they seem to be having a blast. I think it's time that these two get along this way. In this next clip, Cheeto the raccoon and Luna the German Shepherd relax by the pool on a beautiful spring day. Even though they did not go swimming, they had a great time running around and burning off some energy. It's great to see raccoons and dogs become buddies. Many orphaned raccoons are kept as pets, and they can get along with dogs if raised together. Neutering them around the age of 5 months reduces the likelihood of aggressive behavior. This raccoon is taking it to these dogs and it's having fun doing it. I guess raccoons can be amazing pets if you give them a chance. Number 14. Turtle Riding Alligator Is it true that alligators eat turtles? Despite being buddies, they have disagreements. You'll see photos of alligators and turtles sunning together on a log if you spend even a little time looking at alligator images. Well, we have something better than pics in our countdown. We have actual footage of a turtle getting a ride from this alligator. Does the alligator even know the turtle is on its back? Whether it does or doesn't, it doesn't seem to mind at all. And the turtle is getting a ride for free, unless the alligator is taking the turtle to the barbecue. This time, it's three turtles who embark on the alligator boat, and it doesn't seem like the reptile is bothered by it. I guess these two get along more than I thought. Finally, our last clip shows the turtle practically hugging this gharial as if it's the love of her life. The gharial swims away, but the turtle is tenacious and doesn't quit trying to hang out to the gharial. How cute is that? Number 13. Rabbit and Baby Lamb Rabbits will never be able to compete with sheep or goats in terms of grazing volume, but they can be used in an enclosure where they are free to eat weeds and grass. What about when a young lamb lives with a rabbit? What happens then? Well, in our first video, a procession of the young lambs who have been rejected by their mothers meet a big 50 pound rabbit in Scotland. And this colossal rabbit has taken on the role of caregiver for these mischievous orphan lambs. This white rabbit and the sheep share a nice plate of food together. I mean, share is a big word because the poor rabbit seems to be getting the leftovers that the sheep keeps throwing on the ground, while it's devouring the food pretty much by itself. I guess sheep don't like to share. I just hope for the rabbit's sake, the sheep doesn't decide to go to a quick head-banging frenzy. Well, what do you know? Who needs sheep dogs when you can have a rabbit to do it all? Watch this rabbit direct these sheep like a true warrior. I mean, this little guy is getting the job done. And if the sheep are too low, the rabbit even rushes them. Number 12. Jaguar and Dog Tigers, lions, and jaguars are magnificent creatures. They're also apex predators, which means most of us wouldn't want to approach them too closely for fear of losing a limb, or worse. Tiger King is a movie we've all seen. Allowing a dog near a large cat might seem like a recipe for disaster, but for one Jack Russell, it was quite the opposite. Instead, it signified the start of a wonderful friendship. After moving to the Aquaba Lodge in South Africa, Bullet the dog rapidly became great friends with the jaguar. The two creatures have become inseparable friends who do everything together, including playing, napping, and eating. While these two best buddies are a rare sight in the animal kingdom, their age played a role in their friendship's success. Jag the jaguar was a baby when he arrived at the institution, so he needed some companionship. Layla, the owner of the Aquaba Lodge, thought Bullet would be a terrific friend, and she was correct. The two creatures will spend their time together taking naps and playing games. Even their mealtimes will be shared. The fact that these two get along so well is a tribute to the animal kingdom's love and kindness. They're all a lot more emotionally astute than humans will give them credit for. Number 11. Warthog and Mongoose And now there's proof of a strange symbiotic interaction between warthogs and banded mongooses. Mongoose packs will swarm warthogs, picking blood-filled ticks and other parasites off their fur. While the hogs are being cleaned, the mongoose are being fed. Except for the ticks, everyone wins. In our first video, this warthog has arrived at the mongoose spa, and as expected, it received the best massage and massage therapy, a nice facial, and by the looks of it, it will need more facials in the future. After manicure and pedicure, the warthog is now getting the full body treatment as you can see in this footage. 
The spa had to mobilize all its therapists, male and female when they are hard at work, picking out as many blood filled ticks as they can. The Warhog is loving it, and it's no surprise that this big guy has renewed his membership at the Mongoose Spa. If anyone is interested, they have a great special going on, except for Cobras. Cobras are not permitted into the spa. Go figure. You can see the staff of the spa punching out and going home after an exhausting day at work. Our next video shows there is such a thing as a free lunch in the Animal Kingdom. That sounds so appetizing. Finally, even the kids join in for a day at the spa as this baby warhog enjoys a little pampering from its friends the mongooses. Number 10. Ostrich and Kudu A dominant male, female, and their newborn ostriches make up an ostrich community. Other grazing species like antelopes and zebras accompany ostriches on their journey. In this clip at a zoo, this ostrich seems to have a befriended a kudu. The two are walking along side by side as if they've been friends forever. Maybe they're planning an escape or hit on an enemy rhino clan shown in the background. Who knows what these two must be talking about? Maybe the ostrich is telling the kudu it can run faster than any animal in their enclosure, and the kudu doesn't believe it. In this next clip, many of the ostriches are just hanging around, waiting for the signal. I have no clue where the signal is, but it must be something important. Number 9. Heron and Alligator Crocodile Alligators will assault an adult heron or regret right away, and they've been seen to slam their tails against trees to remove even the chicks that their parents are trying to keep. But get this, the great blue heron will also eat young alligators, so this rivalry goes both ways. So please tell me, what is this heron doing on top of an alligator as if it was in Venice taking a gondola ride into the blue grotto? I guess even if it wanted to, the alligator would have a hard time getting to the bird, considering where it's located on the reptile's back. But the alligator doesn't budge, and just floats on the water as if it had nothing on its back. Our last clip is quite particular. For protection from other predators, the water kid up builds its nest near that of the Nile crocodile. However, Nile crocs are fiercely territorial. Few animals would venture to shepherd a crocodile, but the brave Dickop guards her nest by herding the croc towards it to protect it. Once the croc is protecting the Dickop's nest, the Dickop moves away. However, when the reptile sees the crocodile, it takes off faster than a cockroach on amphetamines. Number 8. Elephants and Sheep Nature Reserve wardens were taken aback by Thema the elephant's odd connection with Albert the sheep. After his mother died in a cliff accident, the six-month-old elephant was orphaned. Vets at the San Bono Wildlife Reserve in South Africa kept an eye on the baby elephant for a week hoping he'd be adopted and suckled by another elephant cow. However, this did not occur, and staff from an animal hospital were compelled to take him in so he would not die of starvation. Albert was introduced to him at the Shai Mori Wildlife Rehabilitation Center in the Eastern Cape. The first meeting did not go well. All hell broke loose. Thema dashed after the sheep, chasing him all the way around his watering hole. For the first 12 hours, Albert ran into the safety of a shelter at the far end of the cage. Themba's benign curiosity, on the other hand, much have reassured the sheep. Themba was quite intrigued, and he kept coming up to the poles and pushing his trunk between them, caressing Albert's woolly back and sniffing him. Albert was plainly bored the next morning, so he ventured out into the main cage. Themba refused to leave Albert's side, and the two were observed together exploring their cage, Themba's trunk resting on Albert's back. Themba and Albert have been inseparable since that time. Number 7. Warthog and Meerkat Warhogs and meerkats have formed a mutually beneficial symbiotic alliance that is both inspiring and uncommon. However, our next video is no fabrication, and although Basil the Warhog and Zulu the meerkat have just recently met, they will quickly become friends. When it's freezing outside, they're already snuggled up together. They share their meal, which is unusual for Zulu, who rarely shares his meal with other animals. This warhog is quite the dancer and sprinter, and it's pulling some amazing moves to try and impress the meerkat. This is bound to become a long and unbreakable friendship in the future. Finally, in our last clip, the Pumba and Timon story is retold in real life. Jill the Warhog and Bite the Meerkat live next door to each other. Jill and Bite are now family after Bite dug her way out of from under her confinement to meet up with Jill. For some unknown reason, I just love how Meerkats stand still and scout an area to make sure there are no predators. They are wonderful creatures. Number 6. Kangaroo and Lemur Lemurs are primates that can only be found on the African island of Madagascar and a few nearby islands. Madagascar is home to several magnificent animals that can be found nowhere else on the planet due to its geographical isolation. And kangaroos, including red, eastern greys, and western greys can be found in Australia and Tasmania. So what happens when these two amazing animals meet? Your guess is as good as mine. 
but from what I can tell in this first video, the lemur is a pain in the royal butt to this kangaroo, and does not let it go one minute of shut-eye. The poor kangaroo partied all night, and this morning it is hungover, and it just wants to take a quick power nap, but this lemur will have none of it, and continues to hug and nibble the roo. This kangaroo, having had enough, finally gets up. Who wouldn't after all this harassment? The good news is they seem to get along simply fine. In this next clip, Liam the lemur is in stink fighting mode. Stink fighting is a method used by male lemurs to compete for females. Liam is waving his tail and rubbing his wrist glands on his tail. The lemur's wrists leak foul odors onto his tail, which he waves to direct all the opportunity. The poor kangaroo must be wondering what in God's name is going on. Check out this kangaroo laying on its back. It just crashed out and at least these two lemurs are giving it some space. They finally get into a game of tag and run around the yard like kids during recess. After some playing, they cuddle up on the grass and take it easy. Once again, this kangaroo wants to take a nap, but his two lemur friends feel like annoying it again, because earlier wasn't enough. The lemurs want to smooch and tease and it's all good, because they just love their friend the kangaroo. Number 5. Cockatiel and Turtle When two entirely different species come face to face, anything can happen. You may need to do a little translating and a whole lot of supervising, but it might just be worth it. After all, who knows what's going on in their heads and hearts when their paths cross again, and again, and they make timid attempts to connect. This cockatiel and turtle are meeting for the first time, and they are curious about one another. The turtle might be asking itself why this bird is so stylish, and slicks its hair back, and the cockatiel is wondering what that apparatus on its back is. Besides all this, they must deal with humans handling them. What a life. The turtle seems more intrigued, and I'm sure if the door to that cage was open, it would walk right in and make itself comfortable. This next video shows the turtle taking the cockatiel for a ride. The cockatiel is wondering why it took such a slow means of transportation. This thing is not moving. I never knew birds and turtles were a thing, but once again, we have another odd couple checking each other out, and they seem to get along perfectly fine. Number 4. Duck and Dog The relationship between ducks and dogs is a complicated one. Canines and ducks get along okay, but keep in mind that dogs are predators. It may not be safe to leave your dog alone with your ducks if he has a strong prey drive. However, there is a possibility of a healthy interaction between ducks and dogs. In this first clip, this duck is soothing this dog by removing ticks from its body. That's pretty disgusting, but I guess the duck sees it from an entirely different point of view. Our next video shows us the tenacious duck which has picked an unconventional best mate in the form of a devoted golden retriever. Pam Ishiguru has seven ducks in her rafts, but her four-year-old pecking duck Rudy and her golden retriever Barclay have built the greatest friendship. The animals are like her two boys. They have a love-hate relationship. When they're together, one is constantly chasing or jumping the other. But when they're apart, they're always calling for each other. Reminds me of my relationship with my brother when we were kids. I'm sure everyone who has a sibling can relate to this. Finally, our last clip shows us what true friendship is. In our next clip, a husky from Minnesota shows us to put our prejudices aside in order to form a lasting connection with an adorable duck. These two local celebrities, a 12-year-old husky named Max and a 4-year-old duck named Quackers, met in the most unexpected of circumstances. Max was left alone without a pal when his best friend Sasha died. All of this changed, however, when Max's owners brought home an adorable duckling. They named Quackers. During their first meeting, the two did not instantly strike up a conversation. Max remained by the cage the entire time, but Quackers remained inside his heated pen. When Quackers was finally let out of the enclosure, Max remained by his side. They did everything together from then on. They always make sure to be with each other, whether they're sleeping, eating, or enjoying a walk outdoors. Even though Max is no longer a pup, the wonderful connection he forms with Quackers left an indelible impression on their owners and neighbors. Number 3. Kudu and Giraffe Kudus are wary of strangers and notoriously difficult to approach. Male kudus are rarely physically violent, although during courtship season, they may spar, ramming one another with their horns. In our first clip, Charles the kudu seems to have the hots for Camilla the giraffe. I mean, I can understand why. She has legs twice as long as Julia Roberts in Pretty Woman, and she is smoking hot. Charles sees all of this and just wants to be by her side, even if she's taller than him. He just doesn't want her to wear heels when they go out on the town. Our next video is not about friendship. It shows that everything is not always as rosy as it may seem. This kudu decides to attack this giraffe, and the giraffe is helpless. What surprises me is that a kudu doesn't stand much of a chance against big cats, contrary to giraffes who give big cats a run for their money. But against the kudu, the giraffe is no match. 
I guess it's because the kudu's powerful and long horns are just at the perfect height to injure the giraffe. Thank god the giraffe survived, and the kudu was put into solitary confinement. Just kidding about the kudu. Number 2. Fox and Dog Dog attacks by foxes are quite rare. However, foxes have been known to enter yards and gardens and attack small dogs or pups on a few instances in recent years. The bottom line is that a fox will not attack at a dog, even if it is a small dog, unless it has been cornered and is sick. And there may even be a chance that they get along and become friends. Our first clip is like something out of a Disney fairy tale. A fox and a dog meet in the woods and become friends. That's what occurred last summer when Norwegian photographer Torger Burge and his German Shepherd Tini were out on a walk and came across an abandoned young fox. He was a puppy and his mother had most likely perished, so he sought care, company, and food. Burge called Fox Sniffer, and he's been a regular addition to their treks in the woods since then, coming around to play with Tini for, for a couple of hours most days. Not many people get the opportunity to experience and appreciate a connection like this, but Torgier Burge has seen them in action and gotten the opportunity to capture the relationship in photographs that don't require words. However, this wonderful partnership needs a book, primarily because it can be the voice of the animals and increase their awareness for individuals who are unaware of how similar foxes and dogs are. They also hope this story will raise awareness about animal rights and the living conditions that certain animals face as a result of the fur trade. Why should some creatures be kept in cramped claustrophobic cages with no access to the outside world just so people can look good? Here is another nice fox-dog relationship. Meet Farrah Foxit and her friend Huskita. They are having a great time playing outside, and I'm sure it's because Husky wants to see Foxit's posture where she poses in a bikini. The relationship we are seeing in these videos between these two amazing animals are very inspiring to say the least. Number 1. Mongoose and Sheep We saw the warthog in Shoy the Mongoose spot early in our countdown, but in this video, the mongoose has a more personal relationship with sheep. A beautiful connection exists between this bossy little mongoose and a flock of sheep. Streppies, a rescued banded mongoose, resides in a Namibian wildlife orphanage. Because there are no other mongooses in the area, the tenacious little carnivore is paired up with the two rescued sheep, Baki and Jellybean. Every day, the strange little flock goes out scavenging together and just having a blast doing what they do. After seeing a mongoose destroy a cobra, I never imagined mongoose were such friendly animals. 